Sun shining down here at the Oval in South London, and it's not shining on their team, the Oval Invincibles women. They're under pressure. Welsh Fire are only 16 runs away from a victory, and it would be a good one to come here to the defending champions, given the history of what Welsh Fire have done in the first two years of the 100. This would be a big scalp, and they should get across the line. But they've got to deal with Marazan Cap, who was brilliant at the start of this run chase. She's going to bowl her final set. Well, that's beaten short, fine leg. Got a feeling that the fire might do this in a hurry now. Yeah, they've not got their lines right in the last 15 deliveries. They built some pressure, and then there have been deliveries that have been too straight, too wide. Marazan Cap hasn't adjusted here. The new ball swung, and she's bowled a similar line with the older ball, and it's not swung, and that means it's just opened up the leg side. Well, that's the line. May have hit her on the back leg. I think Dana van Neerkirk has very quickly. Yes, she has. She's called for it so quickly. We missed it. Thanks. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. It's a fair delivery. Can I go front on split screen, please? Just run that through. Take it back a couple of frames, please. Looks like there's a gap between bat and ball, but can we have ultra edge to confirm, please? Ultra edge is coming up on screen now. Let's roll that through. Keep it going through. Flat line as the ball passes the bat. Satisfied there's no contact between bat and ball. Can we go to ball tracking when available, please? Ball tracking coming up on the screen. Middle is going to have to ask you to overturn your decision. I will let you know when you're on screen. Nasser Hussain is absolutely mortified. He had a side bet with Dominic Court that that was going over the top of the stumps for a massive pound, <laughs> and he's lost. Plum. Very good. Decision though from Dane van Neerkirk to review. Looked like she could have got outside the line, but she's played well. Georgia Elwes, 33 from 29, 69 for five. One pound One worse pound off. Bet. Dane, you've cost me a pound with that excellent review. Down the pitch, I thought it might just be going over down the pitch. It wasn't. Cap was uh, absolutely convinced. That's three for. And a sniff, just a chance. Well, that was the perfect line and length for this pitch with the ball at this age. As you said earlier, Shabnim Ishmael got it right, swung early, so she bowled a line, then it stopped and she went a little, little straighter. That's it again, off her pads. Is the fight back on for the defending champions? That one wasn't going over the no, top no. of the stumps, Nasser is saying. No, it wasn't. And we're on another hat-trick, third opportunity for a hat-trick. What a game this would be, what a turnaround this would be. 80 all out, and we're 69 for six in the run chase. Well, just as we were saying that Welsh Fire was starting to gallop towards the line, Marazan Cap back into the attack. Two wickets in this set. She has changed the complexion, now it gets tight. Six wickets down, only 12 needed, but six wickets down, and Oval Invincibles have got their tail up. But Cap has only one ball remaining in the game. Well, he's been impressed with what he's seen. Cap has always been a fighter, always been someone for the occasion. 
always thrives off a crowd. Who was it, Alana King? Got the hat trick, didn't she? The leg spinner, the Aussie leg spinner. The nervous captain watches on. Freya Davis, can she avoid the hat trick? Can Marazan Cap get the hat trick? Her last ball. Straight into the middle of Freya Davis's bat. But that is an excellent spell, an excellent set, an excellent spell. 20 balls, four for 18. What a player she is, Marazan Cap, and she has just given Oval Invincibles a sniff. Yeah, quite brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She's not done straight away. She goes up to her teammates, come on, keep fighting. She does this when she plays for South Africa, when she's out, she'll go to the next batter and tell them exactly what to do. She's just gone to the next bowler and told her exactly what to do. Take wickets, quickly. Paige Schofield then, with 35 balls remaining in the game, just 12 runs needed from Welsh Fire. Get that. That's why I heard you debating down on pitch side in between innings about the bowling of spin. That's why as a captain you've got a attention to detail all the way through. Runs you'll need later in the day. Quite rightly, the field is up, so they're going to try and keep Freya Davis pinned down to that little box catch, all end. Little catch for Katsu here. Got the boundary riders on the leg side. Oh, oh it's getting tense. Ball, uh, just needs a little bit of smart cricket from Bryce and Davis just to get them across the line. Yeah, she's had a masterclass so far of captaincy as Dane van Neerkirk. She, everything she's done has been spot on. Get it, get it! There was a delay in taking that single, but in the end there was plenty of time. Oh, no. Well, just as we were praising Dane van Neerkirk and her team for getting back into the game with good tactics, good discipline, we have buzzers, and that could cost them the game. I think it's Marizan Cap, and there was no one backing up. There should have been. I think it would have been Mid On's job there. Mid On was slow to back up. Well, Schofield got to the stumps and then stepped away, expecting a direct hit. As it was, it wasn't, and there was no one backing up. Seven runs needed. Maybe two, maybe two, it will be two. So 76 for six. Well, they were going to take a timeout, but I think they've cancelled it. Which I agree with. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the timeouts in this format of the game anyway, Nass. It's supposed to be short, quick, fun for the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Get on with the game, as uh, our colleague used to shout. Bumble, get on with the game. Quickest format, tactical timeout. We had one at Headingley last year when the opposition needed three to win or something. There was a tactical timeout. Sophia Schmau into the attack, left arm spin. That's one leg, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Well, she's only got five runs to play with, and we had five off the overthrows in the previous set. So Freya Davis fancies finishing it in one ball. She's got the opportunity. The field is up. That's all Oval can do. Catch! Cries a catch it. Has she taken it? It's a blinder. Fantastic catch and extra cover. First ball gets the wicket. Their catching has been excellent, whether it be in the slips or in the cover region. 
quality of fielding today has been superb. These are the more difficult chances you've got to try and take. Cut! Raya Davis tries to go through point, hits it in front, and diving forward and right and low. That's a really tough chance taken expertly from Windsor. Yeah. It was Schofield, I do apologise, brilliant catch from Paige Schofield at extra cover. Yeah, good! My lap. Really good cricketer, Sophia Schmau. Welsh. Young lady playing against the Welsh fire. Get it! Hold it! Well, this is good. This is good from Oval. It's all they can do, keep the fielders up. Make Welsh fire hit through the gaps. Heaved away leg side, but it will only be a single, you would think. Four needed. Still smiling is Tammy. <laughs> smiling more if they get the four runs. Get it! Oh, good from Schmale. Wicked in that set and only one run. 77 for seven. Tammy's smiling. And mate ain't. She can't watch. Goes again. Clever. Very delicate, deft touch. They will think about two, but they'll be sensible and safe and just take one. I like this aspect of the 100 where you can go back-to-back -back sets. Yeah, it brings in captaincy as well, doesn't it? You just have that gut feel, 10 up front with cap when they needed to, bowl 15 in the first 20, and then here, spinner's got a wicket, keep yourself on, you've got some rhythm. Ooh. <laughs> Sounded OK off the bat, it just needed to be timed into the gap. There we go, down the ground. Little chip, it'll certainly be a couple. Teamwork in the deep, keeps it to two. Don't have more buzzers over Invincibles. You've only got one run to play with. They're one away. Tammy Bowman and her team are one away. And they can look on now. They're one run away from being top of the table. From bottom of the table to the top. Well, they beat the Southern Brave at the Aegeus Bolt, which is no mean feat. And they could be just about to beat the defending and double champions. Doesn't get it through, there's a fumble. That sort of sums up a little bit of Oval Invincibles cricket today. But it's congratulations to Tammy Bowman and her team, the Welsh Fire. As I say, they turned over Southern Brave down at the Aegeus, and they have turned over the defending champions here at the Keir Oval. That is no mean feat. Welsh Fire win.